Hi everyone, it's Gail, and today I am going to play with this strip that we made yesterday just a little bit. I have a couple of things I want to do with it real quick to show you how I intend to use it. And then I have my two trays of grunginess over here to my right. So uh, we are going to play with that stuff too. So first I want to say hi and hugs. And this morning I wanted to say hi and hugs to the ladies that every morning say good morning to me. That has been such a part of my routine, just saying good morning um, back to all the people who who watch me while they drink their coffee, I think. <laughs> so hi and hugs to you all. There's too many to um, to say separately but I just really appreciate it and on those days like when I was at the retreat I just heart those rather than say good morning back but I really love saying good morning back so let's let's hi and hugs and I appreciate you all so much okay well I finished this and it is like 64 inches long <laughs> The good news is it bends, and so I did fold it up a little. But let's just real quick, I wanted to make one of the, um, kind of one of these only with those. And they, oh, I'm trying to reach, sorry guys. They make these wonderful little clusters. And I'll try and remember to, um, link the video below where I made these, okay? So you can kind of see what I have in mind. I need to have a session of making those again because I'm telling you what, it's, it's I've got quite the, quite the collection. So I'm just gonna cut four of these. I'm gonna go three per, three per thing here. Plenty to work with, plenty to work with. <laughs> And I'll be doing more of these. This was fun. Okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just put those down real quick here with a glue stick. So this is one way I intend to use them, and then I will show you the second way. And then we're gonna dive into grunginess and just have ourselves a little play with what we've got what we've got going on on those trays. I don't even know. It's been so long since I had a play with the grunginess. So um, I decided it was past time, definitely past time. So, and then these are kind of cut into little, to make the clusters little two by two or one and a half by one and a half or whatever. But with these, I'm thinking you'll have a great variety of, um, of different papers. Now you might say, couldn't you just put the, um, couldn't you just put these strips onto this white paper? Certainly you could, but I wanted to use my um, adding machine tape and I think this is a fun way and I, I, and if you didn't see that last video I was inspired by a magazine that had like little fabric swatches on it and I just thought this would be fun okay so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do five and I'm gonna put this in the middle And then what I do is just go with, you know, with other scraps. So we'll do a little bit of that, but I may not completely finish this because I am kind of itching to get to the grunge. Okay, so then I'm gonna put that there. Okay, cool. And then what do I have for, for um, scraps here? Oh, I've got a I've got a strip here. That'd be good. Could do that. Yeah, so then I would just collage as normal, but um but I like like the idea of having 
um, having these strips. It's just so fun. <laughs> just a little bit left here. Might as well use it. So I'll put that there. Okay, what else do I have? I've got the magazine kind of on top here, so I've got this. Maybe we'll just pop that somewhere. Gosh, you guys, I apologize in advance if I start to sneeze. But again, we've we've had pretty bad smoke here. It is raining today. <coughs> Excuse me, which is glorious. But, um, but yeah, we've had quite the smoky air, so it's been, it's been kind of, kind of rough around here the last little bit. Okay, just grabbing all sorts of little, little bits. That's a little jelly print. maybe could go at the top and this is how I did it before I just grabbed scraps and put it down here but I thought this could be maybe some fun just having I don't know let's do this down here So anyway, I will continue to collage that. So that's one way I intend to use those. And then let me put this aside for a second. Finish that off camera. And then the other thing I thought is what if I took like about six inches, which is right here. And they're about an inch wide, so I guess it makes sense that it's six of the little strips. And took, I'll get rid of that one. And took this and put it on coffee dyed paper. Okay, just pop that down on there and and then um, cut it out and make a tag is what I was thinking. And then just make it a tag shape. And I feel like with that, you could either put on a focal point or not. You know, um, it's pretty just as it is. Let's just, let's just fluff it up a bit and see. I'm going to put a Put a little top hole in it here. Now we could sew around it and maybe I will just for fun, just for another layer of texture or whatever. really is so dark I don't really need to do anything so anyway there's another use for our fun little I bet you I'm gonna need that Let me, let's leave that out yeah and so now this I'm just gonna clip onto my wall and then I'll just use pieces of it as I need it so that's a little wrap up on yesterday's project I am real excited <laughs> those I think they're fun okay switching gears to our grunginess 
Oh gosh, guys, I don't even know where to start. I I think I need to start just by looking at where we're at because I'm I'm just way way behind with it. I don't know where we are. So I've got this cover. So there's that. Oh, apparently I've got three signatures started. Okay. So that's good. Oh, that's kind of getting there, isn't it? Oh, these are from, this is from Lori Duff. I put, left the card in there. So how many pages do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which may be enough because I, I know I get real excited about decorating the grungy. Okay. So that's more or less ready to go. I do have this that I sort of like to put in and these. <laughs> See why it gets so full. But I just found them. So let's see if we have a spot where they make sense. This might make sense right here. Let's see. I think I would want to go like so. Okay, then I'll put this little grungy one in the middle here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Same. Okay. Um, just kind of deciding where I'd like that. Maybe right. Maybe right here. Okay, there's number two. And then let's put this one in this one. Okay. I'm going to go this way. I don't want um, this to get sewn into the signature and it was awfully close on the other side. Okay, so there is that. I have, oh, those pages I just found and I thought I might do something with those. Okay, I just found this and I'm gonna stick it in the bag with the other spines. Okay, and this is just a fun old thing. Okay. Got some other paper. I have this Black Dog Antiques. I want to use that somewhere. But I have a whole other journal. So I think I'm going to put the supplies on one tray and maybe the journals on the other or something. Okay. So let me just say. Um, Classical Dreams on Etsy, Lori Duff's Etsy shop. She has these digitals, and they're so fun. Okay, um, then this is the other book, and multiple other things. This is the other book. To be honest, I kind of thought I had this one done, but apparently not. Oh, I started decorating it, though. Well, that's that's very fun. Okay, so as far as pages, do I feel, I think I feel like I have enough pages. Oh look, there's that too. Okay, um, once I get this decorated, I do believe that will be plenty of pages because it'll fatten up. Okay, so it looks like this one is the one that's further along. Um, let's look here and just see, see kind of what we have on this tray. <laughs> ay ay ay! So much grudginess. Okay, so, um, I'm going to take this one and set it behind me. And I think I'm just going to make, I'm going to put these things which are going you know to go in the grungy journal um 
I'm going to put them. Oh, and that's scraps. Okay. Them and the books on one tray and then pages on another tray. Because you know what? I've got enough pages right now for these ones. We'll see. Oh, this is from the Rusty Peacock. Just some fun things. And so those could go in there. Okay. This little cabinet card is funky. <laughs> because, well, first of all, it's really light. So I don't think I could digitize it. But look, the thing's upside down on it. That's funny. Okay. Okay, so this is a page. It's going over in the page, in page world. Okay. And these, I thought, would be a page. This is just some stuff that I... Uh, it's the masking paper, the painter's masking paper. And I was using it to do mixed media stuff. Oh, this must be my template. Okay. Fine. Okay, let's just see. Those are going to go in there. Okay. Then I've got grungy stuff there. I've got some masking tape. That's going to go in the, the tray of stuff that I'll use. Okay, I think all this might be pages. So I'm just going to... Um, envelope, pages, all sorts of grungy. I think this could go in a pocket. So could these. This. So I'm just grabbing these out to go more in the ephemera area. Organizing my grunge is what's happening here. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so these are all page type things. So they're going over in the stack of grungy page stuff. Oh, this is this is one of these cool music pages. It's um, waxed, I think. Ooh, I should get my wax stuff over here. Okay, I could do that. Um, so, in a way, this is eph ephemera and or decorating pockets. So, I'm going to put that with that. These can go as ephemera. This could be like a pocket, I was thinking. Yeah, ephemera, ephemera. That's an envelope. That's ephemera. Okay. Pages, papers, papers. Lots of papers. This was... I think I could make ephemera out of that. Possibly that. And these. All these kind of are too. I'll keep those on top. How about... Not that we won't use some of this paper as we make stuff for this journal, but I just kind of, it's taking over and I need to. Okay, that's all paper over there. Okay, this is like decorating stuff for layering. Um, this is ephemera. This is ephemera. Layering stuff, layering stuff. Oh, this is a cereal bag. And then these are like, these are like scrapbook paper that I thought I could grungy up if necessary. So I'm gonna put those with the other pages. It's already looking better guys okay this is a paper these are papers 
more papers, more papers. Okay, and then I've got cardboard, which I'm going to set that kind of on the side of that tray. This was the time template for my last one. What is this? Oh, this is in the envelope. Hmm, I'm not sure what to do with that. This is layering as well. So that goes down here. I don't know these little things. That would be like a page and I think all of these would be like pages too. So pages, pages, pages. I can make 400 grunge journals. <laughs> okay. This one, I don't know. I think this I'm going to throw away because I've already done that journal and don't need it. Okay, I have an empty tray here for my books. I'm going to put this book over here. And I'm going to put this here. So... And then I'll put my other book on here as I'm working too. I What's happened is I've just been throwing things on here when I'm like, ooh, that's grungy. That would go with my grunge journal. You know, kind of that sort of thing. So um, all this layering stuff I want at hand kind of. So I'm going to set it on this tray. Okay. Whew. That was a big one. Okay, so let's see here. I'll keep this just in case I want another page. I'm going to throw it on my pages. And all of these things could be turned into... I want to make a pocket out of that. Could be turned into um, ephemera. So I'm going to toss those at the back of my bin. My ephemera bin. Okay, we're organized. Oh, yes. Okay. So, let's let's look at this and see. I love this page. I love that. I actually have my gesso here in case I need a little of that. I'm considering gessoing that just to make it a little stronger. I think I might. So, well, I think it'll dry pretty quick. Let's just throw some on there. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> got it. Grabbed my strong girl and I got it. Okay, so I'm just going to dip in. This is, um, I don't know, just a cheapy brush that I got on. Amazon and I just want to just put a few, in a few spots just to strengthen up the paper a little bit. I'm not going to do the other side, but this side is kind of against this white here, so I think it'll be, be good. Okay. Pop that in the water, and I don't know, we may need more. Look at how spotty my gesso jar is. Uh, apparently, I was doing some flicking. Okay, I think whilst that's drying, I'm going to... This needs some help. So today's kind of turning out to be a messy kind of day. I'm thinking about getting some um, Mixed Media Mondays kind of started off too. Okay, so that's just white. That needs, that needs something. What does that need? Hmm. Gonna have to think on it. 
you know what? We could collage on that. That would be fun with some of these, some of these other funky papers. Might do that. Ooh, that's kind of cool on there, isn't it? I don't care if that gets some on it. Okay. I think I might go ahead and put that on there. I did, I l used a little of that rusted fabric there for, um, to strengthen this piece of paper. This was an eco dyed paper that has seen better days. It's got holes in it and stuff. So, I think really what I'll do with this, I like how this kind of comes out. And we can put that on. So, see what I mean about this is going to get thick. So, let's just use some Fabri Tac. I'm going to go maybe about halfway on this one. And just go around these. About halfway on that one. And pop that down in pocket fashion. Let's see. I need to get myself a little paper towel here. It's so funny. Mike always gives me my orange for lunch on a paper towel and I never um, I try not to get it <laughs> goopy and then I bring it down here so that it gets a couple uses okay so I think I want to let me just I was looking for these specifically. Oh, I think this one would be nice there. So let's use that for collage a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. Gosh, you're not going to believe this, guys, but we actually have our heat on. That's how rainy and cold it is. It's only 54 degrees. My husband was freezing, so he turned on the heat. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, so I just kind of want a piece that... This is just, um, I use clean, uh, for cleanup when I'm jelly printing, I use a phone book and it's, it's cool, thin paper. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. Um, what else would I like? Ooh, Sears and Roebuck. There's no uh, neatness as far as inking goes. The more ink everywhere, the better on the grungy look. It's so it's so funny. At least I find it kind of interesting that um, 
when I'm working on the grungy journals, people either love it or hate it. <laughs> so, so if you're one that loves it, join me in my grungy play. For those of you that hate it, well, we'll be on to something else before you know it. <laughs> we'll just move along. Okay, so I'm going to put this towards the top. Just was making sure that wasn't sticking to the gesso. Ooh, the other side of this is cool too. Okay, isn't that kind of cool? But really, I'm going for super grunge here. I think I need a little more glue, a little higher here, maybe here. Goodness, come out. I need to refill this again. I used quite a bit of it at my retreat because I was putting on lace and ruffles and such. Okay. I mean, okay, I like how that thickened that up. That's good. That's good. And I like side. So this will be interesting. I mean, I may not even. I might have to sew something on there because glue doesn't stick to wax paper very well but these I glued down didn't I and they stuck okay well maybe I wish I remembered what kind of glue I used hmm I don't know <laughs> okay well this Dirty that up a little. Ooh. Okay, so I think I need need a tag in here. And I was just gonna look and see if something went kind of with that. This one. Wouldn't be too bad. These are just some mixed media tags that I've made in the past that I thought might go in here pretty well. I really like that one too. And not those. Okay. I mean, I like those. I just don't think I want them in here. So that one is kind of cool. Or, or do we want that one? Ah, I like them both. Eeny, meeny, chili, beanie. I think I got to go with that one. It's my first instinct anyway. Okay. So, we need to... I kind of want to put something on the top of this. So, let's grab into our bag of this is and that's over here. Got this little piece of sari silk that we could use. Let's uh, do a little extra grunging to this. Okay. Okay, that's happy. This one, I can't decide do I like want uh, something to write on. 
that little envelope. This is from Sigita. I think she's, I don't know. She changed the name of her channel, so I don't know. Sigita Coffee Change or Sigita Grundy or something. But that covers up too much of that. Maybe we'll just leave it for now. But I think I might put that there. Kind of tough to have this be a pocket because it's really... You know what? Let's put... I, I want some place to write, kind of. Because really, on this page, this, this background in here are the only places to write. You could write right down there and write down here. I love a journal that you can do that kind of stuff with. So here, let's take a piece of something. Let's see. Oh, just grabbing my papers to see what I have to... We could do this. And I think I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that out a little bit, and then I'm gonna take my pencil and kind of just go around this, so I know where to tear. How's that? Okay. There's a good little piece to, I'm just going to throw that in my scraps. I forgot I have my scraps. I need to be looking at those too. Okay. So I think I'm going to just glue that on there. some of my own coffee dyeing, which always turns out really crunchy. <laughs> I don't know if I mean it to, but it does. Okay, so we're going to put that on there. Sorry, I digress. <laughs> okay. So this... Super thin. So we're going to work on that a little bit. I'm going to take it out of here for this because... No, oh my... My ring's rusty, so it's not super easy to get these things out, but okay, so let's set you over to the side for a second. <laughs> You're probably like, what the heck is she doing? I'm going to put it down a couple pieces of paper here. 
gosh, I have so much fun playing. I gotta watch my watch my time. I have so much fun playing with this. See how it picks up in the cracks? I love that. Okay, other side. Grungy, we love the grungy. Okay, now I'm going to grab my grab my brush here and get that dryer. Okay. So much for that paper towel. Now I'm going to add the gesso just to thicken this up a bit cuz it's Pretty thin paper, but this will do it. That's a little more than I wanted. And then that kind of lightens the, um, the ink too. do the other side not even waiting for that other side to dry no need <laughs> no need to wait oops once again I got a little more than I wanted but you know okay There we go. I am going to, over here on my lamp, I have these little paper clips that have a magnet on them. Just gonna clip that to my lamp and let it dry. <laughs> oh geez, I really was a messy, messy mert. Okay, let's find something. How about this envelope? Try and use some of that up. Okay, and in the water it goes. Alrighty then. Well, we did that. Let's look, let's go the opposite direction. And um, let's look in here and see if there's anything that we want to put on the page. These might be nice in your grungy journals. Oh, oh yes, these pretty butterflies, those are cool. Let's see. Oh, and then some medallions too. I might just take this one. So, I'm sorry, I can't say who these are from because it doesn't say. But thank you. These are awesome. I, I know they came with an Etsy share. And if you... Oh, those are fun. Oh, and then you can make a tag out of it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about those. Just sewed, sewn around and then I 
makes a grungy looking tag. I'm really warm. My husband and I are on the opposite ends of the spectrum with that and it makes it tough because like I'm dying of heat and he's freezing. And I did wear long sleeves because it's it's colder outside, but whew, I'm going to have to ask him if we can turn off the heat. <laughs> okay. Well, those are fun, aren't they? Those would be fun to, to decorate this guy. He's... Hmm. 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 <laughs> Dyed Vintage Ephemera Sampler from Papery by Jennifer. See how nice it is when they put their names on there? I feel so much better when I can acknowledge. So, okay. Well... What do we have time-wise? We've got about 15 minutes. I do think on this butterfly, he needs grungy and up. So you can see his, his fun outlines. Oh my goodness, Gail. Sometimes, I swear, coordination is going. Maybe it's an age thing. I don't know. But it's like... I don't know. I have to go slow on the bleachers at my granddaughter's games because it's like <laughs> one time last year oh, at Addie's game, I felt so bad because I think she was embarrassed, but I fell up the stairs. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I kind of, I think I want some. I want, oh, I wonder if I can just do this. Hang on. I don't want to, oh yeah, I can just do this. I just want a little bit. Who needs a paintbrush? I have digits that will work. do both sides. Got a paint goober. Oh, I love a little grungy journal play. It's just fun. And I got too much paint on my finger. I just am bound and determined, aren't I? That's going to be the writing side. This is going to be the decorating side. I'm just going to grab a wet one real quick. Gosh, I'm just a disaster. I knocked over my glue. Getting the bait. wet one. That one's still wet. The one hanging from my lamp. Oh, goodness. Okay. So, initially, I was thinking of putting the butterfly on a page, but I think I might put it as, like, the topper of that tag. That might be fun. I like, I mean, I really like this idea of just sewing around and that's just fun. Okay. 
These, I think these, a tag like this would be fun in a Tim Holtz journal too. Okay, so right about there is my, is my spot where I need to stop gluing. So our girls are playing tonight in Billings, which is about three and a half, four hours from where we live. So we're not going. We're going to watch it on TV. Kills me, but it's how it's got to be sometimes. Well, that's kind of a cool thing. Okay, and I'm just going to leave this blank because, like I say, I do, I'm kind of, um, I'm a little short on writing space in this one. Okay, so, what are you doing? I didn't think to bring my, um, I didn't think to bring my dryer over here. I think it's dry enough to put it back in the book though. Then maybe we can find a spot for our tag. I don't know. Oh, you know what else I'd like to kind of do on that tag is maybe a little bit of light stamping. That might be nice. Okay, let's get you back in here. <laughs> the nice thing about grungy is you don't have to worry about something messing something else up. It's like, you know, it'll just add to it if it does. Okay. And I know I went to great pains to get these pages where I wanted them, so I don't want to do anything to make that not be so. I do think I want that in a pocket because I want the whole thing to be able to be written on. So we need to just, let's see, where's my, there it is, real light. Oh, how about the, instead of text, because it's going to be written on, how about da, 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 the splatter stamp? Amazon, search splatter rubber stamp. <laughs> I've heard from a lot of you that you've gone over and gotten it. You're welcome, Amazon. <laughs> and whoever manufactures this stamp, you are welcome. No, it's just too good not to share. It's just a great stamp. I love it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that take that up a notch? Yeah. Let's do this side too. And with the coffee, our archival ink, it's like perfection, if I do say so. Look at that. That's awesome. All righty then. That makes me happy. Now we just have to figure out a pocket for it, which I kind of have an idea if one of those will fit. Okay. Don't be grumpy getting back in there. Okay. I'm thinking, what about one of these for a pocket? which would be kind of cool, I think. Um, now we just need to decide where. Could go there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's do it. And then we'll have done a couple of pages in here. Not a ton, but... As you know from when I was working on these before, I said I just want to take my time and play 
with these. And so that's what we're doing. Um, although by taking my time, I didn't mean let it sit for two months. <laughs> didn't mean that, but that's kind of how it ended up. Mm, I like this page. That's fun. Okay. Cool. I could add something else on him, too, if I wanted to. But I love that tag in there. Okay. Well, I'm going to call this a successful session. Um, we got a couple of pages done. So we got that one done. We got this one kind of prepped, let's say. Because I think I'll put stuff on there because it really is flimsy. This one's much sturdier, and we have a little pocket there for our tag. We collaged this one. Got a writing space there. Strengthened this a bit. But more, so much more decorating to do, which is super fun. I woke up this morning determined to eat right and exercise, but that was four hours ago when I was younger and full of hope. I love that. <laughs> Yes, I I can relate to that. Okay, well, let's call that a video, guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday and a grateful day. And we will just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.